YouTube. This is Cruise Man, and I'm back in the USA. They call me Cruise Man. I've put more than 150,000 miles on Honda Goldwings, riding all over this amazing country. Thousands of Goldwing owners have used my videos to guide them when working on their own bikes or considering which aftermarket products to purchase. I love riding and wrenching. These are my motor vlogs. That's right, everybody. I was uh, on a assignment for my other website, cruisereport.com. I've been gone for about 10 days, and that's why you haven't seen any new videos on the uh, YouTube channel. But we're going to rectify that today with this motor vlog, and I'll kind of bring you up to date on where I'm headed right now. I'm on the North Dallas Tollway, or the Dallas North Tollway, whichever they call it. I'm on my way to Salina, Texas, to meet up with some other riders that are uh, meeting for, I guess you'd call it brunch. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning by the time we get there. And I um, actually was invited by Don Smith, another uh, 2018 Goldwing rider. And I think this is a group of guys that he rides with uh, from back in his Indian riding days. So uh, we're heading to Salina, Texas to meet up with those guys. And I think there's a car show up there or something we might walk over and take a look at. So that's where I'm headed. Like I said, I was gone for 10 days. Uh, I did a Panama Canal cruise. So we uh, were in the Caribbean, and we did not transit the entire canal and go to the Pacific. We simply uh, went through the locks of the canal on the Caribbean side and went into Gatun Lake, which is a man-made uh, lake which serves the canal. And um, <clears throat> I guess we had a pretty good time. But as far as Cruise Man's garage goes, I just yesterday completed uh, the installation of my passenger armrests from Rivco. And these are actually pretty cool, very, very well engineered, like everything I've ever seen from Rivco. And I uh, got those installed. So we'll have a video in the next couple of days uh, showing you how to install those passenger armrests on your 2018 Goldwing. And they're uh, very nice, very well engineered, and we'll go into more detail on that. I've also had a chance to ride in colder weather behind this new F4 Customs windshield. Uh, one morning uh, when I rode to coffee, it was about 45 degrees. And I gotta tell you, this F4, I have the plus four, the four inch uh, taller windshield, their, their largest windshield. It really does keep the wind off of you, especially off your shoulders and your arms, much better than the factory windshield. And that was one of the things I was concerned about was cold weather riding. How would it protect in cold weather? And it sure does a much better job. So I'm very pleased with my F4 Customs. I'm going to be, like I said, meeting with Don Smith. I'm going to try to get a chance to interview him just briefly on video on what he thinks of his F4. He got the 20 inch, the one that I reviewed. Uh, he actually bought it through me and um, he's been riding with it for a few weeks now. So I want to see what his take is on his 20 inch F4 Customs. He actually went from the tall Honda windshield, which is 24 inches, down to the 20 inch uh, F4. So I'm anxious to kind of hear his thoughts and his comparison. So anyway, I will update you here when I get to Salina. I'll get some more information and when I'm heading back home, uh, we'll go to part two of this Cruise Man's Garage motor vlog. If you like these motor vlogs and other Cruise Man's Garage videos, please take a second to click on that little subscribe button down below. And if you click on the little bell icon, YouTube will notify you uh, when new videos are put online.
Well, I just got finished uh, having lunch with a group of riders at Lucy's on the Square, I think that's what it's called, in Salina. And uh, met some nice guys. Most of them ride Indians and Harleys, but uh, Don rides a 2018 Goldwing like myself. And uh, we had a chance to visit and catch up. Made some new friends, had a really good meal, good breakfast. It was actually uh, quite a nice little place. And I'm telling you today, we got some really, really stiff winds out of the south. I'm headed back uh, to the house now. You can probably hear the winds. It's actually moving my helmet around. I'm guessing probably 25 to 35 or 25 to 30 mile an hour gusts out of the south and I'm getting crosswinds right now. And I'm getting ready to turn uh, south onto the tollway um, to go basically into the wind, which is actually better than the crosswind. It actually is easier to go into the wind than it is to deal with that crosswind. However, this 2018 Goldwing uh, seems to be a little, I think, a little better handling in crosswinds than the previous Goldwing. Tonight, we turn the clocks back. The end of daylight savings time. So that means a little bit shorter riding day for some of us because it'll start getting dark pretty early. Before you know it, it'll be dark at 5.30 in the afternoon. So anyway, to all of you out there, uh, ride safe. Uh, subscribe to the channel. And don't forget, if you ride a 2001 to 2017 Honda Goldwing or F6B, have those great maintenance DVDs. Should save you about $1,000 a year in labor costs alone. So check it out. And that's all for now from Cruise Man's Garage.